Hello, and welcome to A Viewer's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artist grow their business and sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. Today is Monday, November 15th. We only have about 10, what is it, 10 to 12 days, I didn't math off the top of my head, until Thanksgiving. I don't like food or anything. Anyways, I'm super excited. Uh, and uh, it's good to be here with you guys today. Today, we're going to be talking about what is the best DAW for you to work with as a voice actor. And uh, we're going to look at this under three different lenses. So the first one's going to be pricing. Okay. Um, the second one is going to be ease of use. And the third one is going to be support. Now, you could, you know, add so many other different categories but i think these three uh kind of seal the deal for me um and we're going to talk about them and i will point out that um i'm going to list some different daws the main ones uh there's going to be plenty that i don't talk about and also you know i am fully aware that this these are just my opinions because you know i will say right off the bat before i start into this no matter what I say, whatever you started with, nine times out of ten, if you've already have a DAW and you started with it, okay, which by the way, on a side note, DAW starts stands for digital audio workstation. Whatever you started with, I have found usually is the most comfortable for you, right? Because that's what you learned on. You know what I mean? So whenever you go to somewhere else. OK, unless those platforms, unless you go to another DAW who's built very similar, um, it's going to be very difficult to pick it up. OK, but, you know, if you're just starting out or you'd feel like you really do need a change. All right. I'm going to go over some with you today. All right. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you check out Avio's Journey Elite uh, Academy. We have a, there's a link below. There's a special going on, and also tonight, if you haven't seen it, over on our Facebook group at Avio's Journey Facebook, we have an open panel coaching session tonight at 7:30. Uh, you can go and hit that going tab, you know, because it's under uh, it's like a Facebook event. And we're going to be live with the coaches from Avio's Journey. And we're going to be answering our Vio's Journey Elite Academy. We're going to be answering all your questions for free. Um, it's just a fun thing that we do every month or so um, for the people in the uh, Facebook group. So check that out um, and uh, also check out the link below for the Academy. OK, so let's go ahead and dive into um, these different DAWs. Okay. So I want to talk about a couple. I want to talk about Adobe Audition. I want to talk about Reaper. I want to talk about Studio One. And I want to talk about Audacity. Okay. Uh, of course, is there more? Absolutely. Um, there's many more that I don't use. Uh, like Pro Tools. I don't use Pro Tools. Uh, and uh, you know I have very little experience with it. So that's not going to be on the on the docket here. Um, but, I, you know, I do want to talk about those main ones, though. And I think that, you know, it's going to help. And of course, there's more, many more than that. But let's talk about the first one, pricing. OK, so let's kind of run over pricing. Of course, the winner for pricing is going to be the free DAW and the free DAW to use is Audacity. OK, so that's probably the best for pricing. Next up, you're going to have, you know, for a single price and, e you know, easy use is going to probably be Reaper because it can be a one time payment and it's usually low. Now, I will tell you, you're supposed there's two different types of licenses to get for this is just something I've noticed to get for um, Reaper and the very inexpensive one is for personal use and then the more expensive one is for business use um, I venture to say that most people get the biz the personal use one because it's very inexpensive but you should be getting the business one but you know whatever um, and but but that's probably inexpensive next is going to be you know pretty much uh, Studio One and Adobe Audition. Okay. Um, you know, um, Studio One is going to do upgrades, but again, that's a purchase price. Adobe Audition, okay, is usually around 20 bucks a month. Okay. So it's an ongoing price, but you'll get all the upgrades automatically built in without having to buy them. 
Okay, uh, so that is those are the pricing. So I would kind of place it in that order, pricing wise. Um, and you know, even though those prices are the way they are, moving on to the second part, which is ease of use, I you know definitely would be different. So to me, where uh, do, or, um, Audacity right is the best on price. I would say that Audacity probably moves down to the bottom of my list for ease of use, okay, uh, compared to the other uh, DAWs, and rightly so, right? Because it's free. It's still a good platform. Audacity's still great, um, but it's not the easiest to use, especially when you're trying to get uh, really high quality audio. Not that you can't do it on Audacity. Not. It's not what I'm saying at all. All I'm saying is, is that. There's a uh, these other DAWs. It's a lot easier to you know target specific areas in the audio and do things, whereas you have to buy a lot of extra plugins for Audacity to be able to do that. Um, so I think for me, uh, the ease of use, okay, probably again is going to be split among you know Reaper Studio One and Adobe Audition, and this is a hard. Uh, category. I'm I'm personally gonna go with Adobe Audition. Remember, this is a personal choice I'm making for you because I love Adobe Audition. If someone's worked with Studio One their whole life, they're gonna claim Studio One is the best hands down. If someone's worked with Reaper, they're gonna love Reaper. And some of these things have different options, like different things, right? Like in Reaper, you there is there is one thing where it does allow you to render a video. An MP4, you can't really, you can't edit the MP4, but you can edit the the muse, the the sound, like the music or the background and the voiceover, and then I think you can, um, you can uh, uh, render that file. Uh, I'm not sure about Studio One, but I, I you cannot do that in Adobe Audition, and you have to have Premiere. Adobe Premiere in order to talk. You know, they they talk to each other if you have them, but you got to pay extra. So either you pay CC. You know, which is about fifty dollars a month, which is the entire Adobe suite, like Photoshop, After Effects, uh, Adobe Spark, <clears throat> all of them. You know, you to get those, but so you know, I would say that I really do for ease of use. I love Adobe Audition, but I've had people swear to Studio One and people swear to Reaper. So you know, it really is personal preference. Just note that you know. It's going to be really what you choose to work with first, which you would then inevitably say, okay, well, the third one then becomes increasingly important, right? Like really important. That's support. You know, what support do you get when you're first starting out? Okay. And we should, you know, and this is something to really consider, okay, when you're talking about not just your DAW, but your microphone, your interface, especially your interface, right? Who offers really good support? Meaning like, can you reach them on the phone? Uh, do they know what they're talking about? Do they, can they help you walk through, you know, what the problem is and actually fix it? Um, for me, I have had next to no issues ever with Adobe Audition. And what I love about Adobe Audition, okay, is uh, well. Let me let me let me step back for a moment and and look at this from a standpoint of. I've heard many people say, okay, well, you know, like for example, Studio One uh, has very good support on the phone. Okay, so Studio One has very good phone support. Okay, but then if you take a step back and you look at YouTube, I mean, Adobe Audition hands down has more videos. Uh, you know, with people doing stuff with Adobe Audition than I think any of the other platforms, okay? And Reaper would come in third on that one, okay? But that's, so then so then you could say, well, there's better support, phone support possibly with Studio One, okay? But then, you know, you're going to have a lot more access to videos and things um, for YouTube for Adobe Audition and all kinds of stuff, okay? I mean, from everything under the sun, and, you know, and there are a lot of Audacity videos as well, but you get it's hard to find Audacity videos on specific things that like like 
uh, when I say, or, or let me rephrase, that actually work. That's how I should say it. Because I've, I've, you know, I taught myself Audacity because I started on Adobe Audition. But I taught myself Audacity to use it, to know it, to be able to help people with it. And eventually I ended up making a course on it if you're just starting out with it. Um, but I can tell you that, you know, it, it, it's hard to do things in Audacity without having good plugins that you purchase. Now, talk about plugins real quick. OK, when we, we go into like support and ease of use, um, I think that Adobe Audition is very easy to upload plugins. You buy a plugin, you go to their little search plugins tab, you hit that, it finds the plugins. All right. You just hit OK and bam, the plugins are <clears throat> uploaded, ready to go and you can use them. All right. Um, I know it's very similar uh, to uh, Studio One. I'm not sure about Reaper. I know Audacity, you kind of got to go through a couple different steps where you got to load some things here and there and move some files and okay them and find them. Um, so Audacity is a little more difficult. The overall feel and use of all of them, which I know this is not in there for pricing, ease of use, or support, I guess the feel of it, I do, after working with a lot of people, I do know people really do like the feel of Adobe Audition. People like the flow of Studio One and Reaper, meaning that, you know, Studio One and Reaper, they record in a specific way. Like, for example, it's a non-destructive way, meaning that, you know, you uh, have plugins, you've got EQ, you've got things in there that basically once you record they're automatically added, like you can do presets. But you can do that with Adobe Audition too. It's just Adobe Audition has some more options that you can do solo without having those things already, or you could do a multi-track. Usually Studio One and Reaper always record in like a multi-track kind of session, um, and it's non-destructive. And so, you know, they, it's just really kind of a feel for you. So, of course... To end this whole thing up for me, I'm going to always personally recommend Adobe Audition because I love that platform. It's so simple, I feel, to use and understand. Um, I think Studio One is another great platform. I think Reaper is too, but I think you start losing when you go from Adobe Audition and Studio One and you start moving further away from that. You know what I mean? Either the platforms get more complicated or they're not as easy to use or the support kind of falls off. So my top two recommendations would be Adobe Audition and Studio One. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Leave your comments below. I'd love to hear. I, I'm always amazed. And it's really cool to hear how many different types of DAWs. I'd love for you to put down in the comments what DAW you're using because I've, I, it's amazing the different types of DAWs that people are using, which then tells you too, you know what I mean, that you know you can make things work, okay? But yeah, put those in the comments down below. Uh, and again, hit that like and subscribe button, check out the Academy, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. Take it easy. Goodbye. Goodbye.